Hi everybody, Roxy here from All Ours Forever. So, I have a craft to share with you today. Pretty simple, a little time consuming, but it turns out wonderful. We're gonna make a summer wreath. So, you need some of these plastic tablecloths from the Dollar Tree. I used two of each color, two pink and two of the lime green. You're going to need some wire of some type. I'm just using floral wire, a little heavier gauge floral wire. You're going to need some scissors. Hot glue, of course. And you're going to need a 14 inch elevated wreath from the Dollar Tree. So what you're going to do is take the... Um, Straighten it over here. You're going to take the um, take the plastic tablecloths, and you're going to cut them into strips. The strips are going to be an inch wide, inch and a half, something like that. Doesn't have to be too precise, and they're going to be about six and a half inches long takes a little bit of time to do this, but it works. So this is what you're gonna end up with, is these strips that look like this. And you'll notice mine aren't exactly the same, but that's okay. So when you get them cut out, they're gonna have squared off ends. So what you need to do is you need to cut at an angle on each end, just like that. And do that for every one of them. Now you can do them. I did big long strips that were about that thick until you get the, all the tablecloth totally cut up. So then what you're going to do, and these wreaths forms have six sections to them, and they have four rings on each section. What I did and you can vary this however you want, was I filled the first, second, and the fourth ring. I didn't fill the third ring because it was so full, I didn't think it needed it. Um, and truthfully, I probably could have gotten by with just doing two rings, but I like the way it turned out, and you'll see what I mean. So what you're gonna do, and I work from behind, the side that's pushing out, so you take one color, and we're going to start on the very bottom, the inside ring. And all you're going to do is slip your piece through, like such, one on each side of the rim. And you're just going to basically tie a bow. You don't have to tie a knot in it. And that's what you're going to end up with. Okay? Just one time through. And then you're going to alternate. Yep. I'm a finger licker. I, it's a disgusting habit, but it's what it is. We all have those habits. And these tend to stick together, you know, static cling. So you just keep doing that and you alternate colors. Just one time through. And just keep alternating colors until you get that whole row done. And then you go to your next row. It's a good project while you're sitting and just watching TV or listening to an audiobook or just sitting outside on the front porch and uh, listening to the birds. So I got four of them done in a very short amount of time and you can see how that goes. Now I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me do the whole wreath. And I will have this tutorial um, up on our website at allourisforever.com. But when you're done, this is what it looks like. Turns out very pretty, so fluffy. Reminds me of pink lemonade and watermelon. I'm not sure why watermelon, but it does. Definitely reminds me of pink lemonade. So that's what I'm calling it, is our pink lemonade wreath. Isn't that pretty? Now you could leave it just like this 
And this, again, is just three rows done. I didn't do the fourth row. Let me show you the back of it. This is what it looks like from the back. You can see they're all tied on. Okay, so you can leave it just like this, or you can do what I'm gonna do with it. So they have these signs at the Dollar Tree, and they're very, very cute. This one was four signs together with like a ribbon in between each sign. I just took them apart, and I learned something the other day. You're never too old to learn. So these have sparkles on them. I don't know if you can see them, but they do. They have glitter on them. And typically when you're working with stuff like this and it's got glitter on it, you end up with glitter everywhere. And very little of it left on the sign. So if you want it off the sign, that's fine. Take, take a brush, a soft brush, or take a rag and just brush it off. But if you want to maintain that look, take and just put a light coat of decoupage over the top of it. That's what I did. And the glitter stays where the glitter's supposed to be. And you don't really notice that there was decoupage on this. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my wire and my wire cutters. We always have to have some wire cutters. And I'm going to cut just about, about two and a half inches, two pieces. And we'll see if this is going to work. It may not. I may have to end up drilling a hole through it, but I'm trying to get by without drilling a hole. So what I'm going to do is I bent it in the shape of a U, just like that. And I have, I keep my little container with all my goodies in it. I have a tongue depressor here. And I'm just going to take and put a little bit of hot glue on each end of the sign. And I am going to put hot glue everywhere. Just going to hold that down for a minute with the wire sticking up. We'll see if this is going to hold. Like I said, it may not. I may have to get a, go ahead and drill some holes on it. You could always glue it to the front of your wreath too, but I'd rather not do that. So I'm just going to try the hot glue gun method and see if that works. The other thing is you could always take a little E6000, but just for purposes of trying to show you how to get this done. I take the time for that to dry because that does take a little bit of time to dry and cure out. So I hope everybody's week is going well. Coming up on hump day. It's always a good day. The heat is just getting grueling here in California. We're up in the triple digits again this week. I think by Friday they said it's supposed to be 112. Oh, y'all like me, right? Anyway. So, you know, sometimes you just, you just gotta have fun. You know, just silly and have fun. And it's too hot to do anything else. And life is just too short to do anything else. So. I say have a little fun. My daughter made these for me many years ago and they always just make me feel like summer. Make me feel like fun. They're just a happy thing. Lightweight and they're just fun. She hand painted them. So while we're waiting for the glue to dry here for a second, the professor was out. I don't know if any of you have watched my Instagram posts where I mentioned that we we're putting the front porch on. 
And so they're coming to pour concrete. And of course we had bushes that have been there. I call them bushes, but they're actually more like trees now. Um, Cause the base of them is like yay big around each branch. Um, and they've been where they're at now for like 15 years. So they've, they've had a while to dig those roots in. So the poor guy was out there today all day working and finally got all of those moved. He, he deserves a few days off before I pick on him again. But he got him moved and everything looks great and they're gonna come in a few weeks and pour the concrete. And then we'll work on getting the overhang done and getting the fencing up and we'll actually have a front porch again. That'll be nice. I like sitting out on a front porch, don't you? What's your favorite thing about summertime? Mine is just evenings, warm evenings out on the out on the front porch, watermelon, lemonade, just early morning sunshine, listening to the birds sing. And of course plants, always plants. I saw a Facebook post the other day that showed a man standing out in the street looked like unfortunately a lot of homeless that we have only his sign wasn't asking for food or work it was asking for help and it said not homeless not hungry but i need help because my wife keeps buying plants sounds like me but that's okay can never have too many plants. So we'll see. I don't think this is quite dry yet. Almost. Almost dry. So what we're going to do is the idea here is that I'm going to take See how the wires are sticking out? I made a little U, have them sticking out there. And we'll see if this is gonna work. Might be an epic fail, guys. We'll see. Just gonna fluff these up around it like such. Okay. Let's see what we got here. And then I'm gonna fasten it from behind because I've got my little wires. Oh, that works, guys. It does work. So there you go. You can see how it turned out. I think it turned out great. A little bit of patience. It did take me a couple of evenings, a couple hours, sitting in front of the TV to get these all put on. But it's not hard. It's budget friendly. Definitely budget friendly. And look at how nice and fresh and summery that looks. Doesn't that look great? So give it a try. Try our lemonade wreath. And I will have the tutorial up on the um, website at allartsforever.com under our craft area. Please check out the rest of the site. And if you like our videos, if you like our website, please share it with others. We appreciate it. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram, on Pinterest, and on YouTube. And of course, our Tuesday and Thursday morning poolside chats. That's on Instagram at 6.30 in the morning every Tuesday and Thursday. So thanks again for joining us. Hope you have a great evening. Till next time. See ya.